with a plethora of gaming mouses out there on the market, it seems as if there are gaming mouses ranging anywhere between 150 all the way down to $10. But what if I told you I found a budget minded gamers type of mouse that ranged at the $20 price point and could also kill the glorious Model O gaming mouse? Would you believe me? Well, today you just might have to. What's up fellow gamers? This is Ventures. I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Bengu DM01 gaming mouse. We're going to be going over its features. We're going to be going over its build quality. We're going to take a look at the software and the gaming. And I'll let you know if I think this is a great budget minded, friendly option for those guys who want to just kill the glorious O. And we will take a look at it right after this. Stay tuned. All right guys, so here we have it, the Bengu DM-1 Gaming Mouse. As you can see, this is an actual Chinese dupe company to actually make one of these mouses as you can see here. You can see that it's actually made in China. And you also see some of the settings here. You got the actual DPI settings, window settings, all the good basic stuff here, all in a nice general package here that we have. So this is the mouse uh, box comes with general you know settings and instructions stuff like that nothing super important more importantly what we have here is the actual mouse here first thing you notice when you first pick it up is extraordinarily light it's because of the holes that I put into this mouse this is becoming a very much more popular design nowadays with some of these mice where they put holes into the top side to make the mice a lot less light to basically be able to use it for competitive gameplay for good flicks and things of that nature. So that way you don't have a heavier mouse to move around and everything there. Uh, it's a very basic design. Uh, it does fit pretty well. You can tell by the way it fits into the palm here. The build quality is relatively cheap um, for its design, but just looking at it, of course you see the holes here. You got the scroll wheel, obviously DPI settings, mouse button one and two. Back to the side here, as you can see, you have the actual mouse buttons. You have the actual mouse button here press one or two mouse buttons a little bit of grip for your thumb so that way if you rest your thumb on the side you can actually be able to grip grip it well it's also not on this side so it's basically made for you know uh right-handed uh uses basically uh bottom side of course you have your optical sensor for the mouse and also the footings there's nothing that is thick kind of cloth or anything like that they're very just smooth footings and they tend to rub across a mouse pad or whatever you use relatively well uh you know it's just basically this course you got holes in the, in the bottom it's just like they try to put as many holes in this mouse just to give it as much lightweight as possible and it also helps with the rgb shine through what we'll look at later but like i said it's decent build quality even down to the braided cable now the cable here it's a nice braided cable usb uh cable here and of course it's a long braided cable i would say it's probably about Right about six feet but it's a nice braided cable so of course it helps with the you know actual tangles and things of that nature with this mouse so that being said look at this mouse here is it's, it's a very very decent design if you want to look at size and comparison let's take a look at this my iron claw corsair mouse and you can look at the size differentiation for the d2 and you can tell that the corsair mouse is definitely a big boy you know what i mean so in size comparison you can see it's definitely way, way bigger and it shows this, you know, this mouse isn't of a uh, stature, you know what I mean? So if you have a nice average hand size, you should be able to use this mouse just fine. No problems at all. Uh, it's relatively basic. Like I said, at its core. So everything about this mouse, you can be able to use for very lightweight use and should work pretty, pretty good. So we're going to take a look real quick at the RGB and I'll show you how it looks on the mouse. All right. So just, now let's take a look at it with the RGB. As you can see, the holes in the mouse definitely do it justice. Again, just like the glorious old mouse, it basically has that kind of Swiss cheese design and all these holes in the mouse give it a great RGB feel. So you definitely have 
that going forward. Uh, it goes all the way around the sides here. You can see you have that RGB running up the actual side of the mouse, going all the way up around to the side here and all the way up through this part of the mouse. And it comes all the way through. Now with this, you can also change the DPI settings. In general, on board it has about, I think three to four DPI settings. You can press it, it'll change the light, blink a few times. And then once it does that, it goes back to this RGB setting, meaning that it's on that particular setting where the green setting is. Same thing with the, the blue, which is a, another uh, DPI setting as well. And that being so. So you have that all on board here. Uh, the mouse wheel feels pretty good. As you can see, you can hear the windows going off there using it. The mouse wheel is pr pretty good, it's pretty average. It seems pretty uh, sturdy. And yeah, so if you're looking for that nice, lightweight feel with the RGB, this is actually very good. Now, this mouse is very budget and is basically a budget uh, type mouse, but what makes it even better is the actual software. So this does have software as well for you to do some general, you know, basic uh, adjustments for the mouse. And I'm gonna get into that right now. Okay guys, so here we are. We have the actual software for the DM01 gaming mouse. Here we got the uh, actual mouse here. Well, first thing I will notice is that this design here is actually for a Vixing design. So you can see when you get some of these uh, Chinese products that sometimes the, uh, the software is mixed and mangled together, but you know, I digress. So looking at the actual mouse, you see a bunch of different like question marks here. Well, that's because it actually has two languages. So if you get this mouse and you see something like this, you wanna click on this button here and it will change over to English. So you can see here, you have all your English designs. You can look at the different modes here. Uh, and these are actually the buttons that represent here where you can change the buttons here. So the you can actually change the buttons from up to down to wherever you want, different media keys, uh, functions, uh, computer keys, opening programs. So it has a, a good bit of customization uh, for this, for this mouse at this price point, some mouses don't even offer this. So, you know, you definitely, uh, it's a good idea to have, and I like it to be able to have that, you know, especially when you're playing different games, um, uh, mode B is more of the same as the first mode. This is where you actually change your DPI settings. Now you only can change it to seven different DPIs, excuse me, six different DPIs. So you got six different DPIs here. They are represented under a color. You can change them to whatever values. They, they have, so they, they change values, uh, I think between every 200 or so uh, values, but they're, but they're preset. So you can actually change those there. You can change your, your polling rate, um, you know, all these different things. Uh, you can actually add into this mouse. So you can do all those different things. So, and as far as the lighting goes, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then off lighting settings. So by just doing this, you can go to DPI mode and you can see that it automatically changes to whatever the DPI is. Currently my DPI is on green, but if you were to switch that DPI, you'll see it changes to blue. I don't know why I went that, did that, but it changes it up. You can switch over to the colorful mode. And with each mode, of course, you can choose it to go slower or you can choose it to go faster if you like to actually change those up. As well as you can go through different modes like the rainbow, all right, flow light, waltz here and then you have your four seasons mode as well you can even change the led to either go full or half brightness i don't know if you can quite see that but that's also something you can do as well so even here you can even add macros i haven't added any yet at this moment but if that's something you want to do specifically for maybe some games or something like that you can do that so uh that is some of the lighting modes and yeah, we'll try to get into a little bit of gameplay and I'll give you my final thoughts shortly after that. So looking at the gameplay, definitely this mouse is very, very light. It's very easy to use to be able to make flicker movements, to be able to U-turn or turn around if you're playing some FPS games, if you're playing something that takes high, fast pace, precise uh, movements, the mouse with actually is very good for that. The RGB glow, definitely in the dark, definitely gives it more of that gamer appeal. And the way it's actually set, it allows you to be able to get your hand and palms in the buttons just in the right place. I think it's well designed to be so cheap, and I think it does real well in good gameplay situations. 
Um, the braided cable doesn't seem to get into the way or anything like that. Uh, I think all around it's just good gameplay, and, and I like it. I like it just like the way it plays. So let me get into my final thoughts, and we will tell you whether or not I think it's a killer. All right, guys. So my final thoughts on the DM01 Bingo Gaming Mouse. I mean, this mouse here, man, is actually really, really good. I like that it has the Switch T design around. Very lightweight, easy to use. Basically good to be able to use for if you need to flicker or you need fast paced gaming like FPS, uh, eSports titles. This is your go-to mouse if you want a nice budget mouse with this design. Speaking of with the design, you have the actual Switch T's design that will allow the RGB to shine through, giving that nice, beautiful RGB look on a very affordable price. You have the software that comes through, be able to change the DPI, polling rate, the macros, button assignments, RGB, all built into that one little package, which is excellent. Also with the gameplay, the buttons feel very, very nice. Uh, very, very good. You have that, that grip on the side that just makes it very comfortable to fit in the hand. I mean, just, you, you get a very, very good value mouse for its price. Does it kill the glorious O oh, in my opinion? You know me and you know I'm a budget guy. So the answer is absolutely yes. If you are in that budget category, you don't wanna spend much more than $30 for a mouse. This is definitely a go-to if you want glorious O oh type of feel without that glorious O oh type of money. So definitely check this out guys if you like it and I don't think you would be disappointed. So. Hey, what do you think about the mouse? Do you think he kills the glorious O? Do you own it? Do you have any uh, ideas or tips you'd like to share with this mouse? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And as always guys, thank you for watching. And remember to keep that flame going inside for gaming. This is Adventure signing out. We will see you in the next one.